Hi, I'm Chad Boninger, Business Librarian for Ohio University Libraries. I make videos for researchers at Ohio University and beyond. In this video, I'll show you how to use a database called SBRNet to find sports fan demographics. If you're not an Ohio University researcher, you can check with your local library about access. Let's get started with SBRNet. SBRNet is a great place to get started with whatever sports related research project you might have. It's a great place to find sports fan information, sports venue information, participation rates of people who play a particular sport, and all kinds of great information. My most frequent way I use SBRNet is typically to find sports related fan demographics. I'll show you a couple different ways to use SBRNet to find demographics of sports fans. When we first arrive at SBRNet, one quick way to find information is go to the Summaries menu in the navigation bar at the top of the page. Then click on the relevant single sports summary. For my example, I will choose MLB. This takes us to the MLB Fan Summary page where we get an MLB Fan Market Summary. One of the great things about this data is that we have a good deal of historical data. So we can see how the fan market has changed and how demographics and sports interest have shifted over time. This is great information for any sort of sports sponsorship project. You'll want to take careful note of fan information such as gender, household income, and age. You can use the demographic information to see if there are similarities between sports fans and the consumers of products or services of potential sponsors. This is a very long page, so make sure you spend some time and scroll slowly through the information. You'll find some good stuff there that you can use for your sports project. At the bottom of the page is the Sponsorship Influence Index, which will be especially useful in understanding how influential a potential sponsorship package might be. Here we see that those age 50 plus have an index of 60, meaning that they are 40 percentage points less likely to be influenced by sports sponsorships than other fans. 18 to 24 year olds, however, with an index of 179 are almost three times as likely to be influenced by sponsorships than those age 50 plus. This kind of data is especially useful for a sports marketing project. We can use this data to make sure we are appropriately aligning our product or our services of our sponsor with the appropriate target sports fan. Back on the home page, the second way to navigate to the fan data is to choose under the sports menu, then the broader sport link. For our example, I will choose baseball under the team sports heading. This takes us to a more comprehensive baseball homepage where we can find information about people who participated or played baseball, extensive information about the MLB and Major League fan markets, as well as consumer expenditures for baseball equipment. For our example, let's take a look at the attendance profile found on the left side of the page under the MLB fan market. Here, the MLB attendance profile provides all sorts of data about frequency of attendance to games. You can also find frequency of attendance compared to key demographic variables, including age, gender, and household income. All these are key pieces of information we need to understand the demographic profile of a particular sports fan. To fully understand these fans, we might also want to look at TV viewing and online viewing profiles, as we might find other useful information there as well. We can also compare these demographics to other sports by looking at the overall sports fan market. To find these links to these demographic comparisons, go to Summaries, then click on All under the Fan Market heading. The links on this page will allow us to compare sports across the entire fan market. Let's take a look at attendance demographics, for example. On this page, we get some great data, including people and the total number of spectators who attended a major sporting event, as well as we can see attendance demographics across all sports and compare baseball fans to other sports fans. This information is also historical, which means we can track shifts and changes over time. I've shown you a few different ways to use SBRNet, but there's multiple use cases for this great database. Spend some time with it, and I'm sure you'll find it very useful for your next sports-related research project. Hopefully this video helped you understand how to use SBRNet to find sports fan demographics. I wish you the best of luck in your future research.